and welcome to Basic Electronics episode 7. Can you believe it? Um, basically, this week we're going to be talking about how I turned my acoustic guitar into an electric guitar. Um, there's plenty of other videos on YouTube about contact mics, but I'll show you some other uses for them too, because, uh, pretty cool little device and they're really simple. So, uh, I don't know if you noticed if you've been following the series, but if you listen quietly for a second, it's it's silent, and it's because I got I figured out a new way to record my audio, a lot cleaner. There shouldn't be that buzzing anymore, which really got annoying. So uh, I apologize for that. But if this new technique works good, I'm gonna continue to use it for my videos. So basically. Uh, I removed my pickup, you can call it from the mic from my guitar, I mean, and I'll show you how I did it. I built a circuit, and I, if I can find, I'll link to some more videos where you can find out more about it. But here's the actual microphone. It's just, uh, it's just a simple piezo disc actually. Uh, it's covered in hot glue to make it a lot more durable because. The leads kept breaking off and stuff. I've actually got lots of piezo pickups. But uh, I just chose this one. This one seemed to work the best. And I'll show you what I did. First, what I did was I ran it through the simple preamp using a JFET. The JFET that I used was an MPF 102. That again, the JFET for this is an MPF 102. 102. Uh, it's powered by a 9-volt battery with my little, uh, I'll show this in another video if I show some easy tips. Basically, it's not going to focus very well, is it? But uh, basically what I did was I soldered header pins onto this so it works great for breadboarding. It doesn't destroy your clips. I mean, your, yeah, your battery snaps. It's fast anyway. So I'll show you how it works. Oh, actually, after the preamp, it goes into an LM386 amp. Which well, then goes into my stereo, so uh, you could probably bypass the LM386 amp and go into a guitar amp, but my stereo works a lot better. It's more surround sound, the way it's set up in my room here. So let's just get started, I guess. So, you can probably hear it, but it's a very sensitive device. Just the slightest tap will make it react. But you can also have some fun with these things. So, like, one thing I, I did was I just took some tape, just a piece of tape, and if I tape it to my desk, some cool effects like that. You can also, uh, I'm just making these up as like go. I mean, there's lots of them. Like, uh, how about a pop can? Uh, let's see, where's a good place to tape it? You can see this is. I'm gonna try to keep this video a little bit shorter this week, but um, basically, it's a very cool device. It's just a simple piezo that I ran into the preamp right here, and then I ran the preamp into an LM386 amp, which amplifies the sound even further. Sweeping up, spilled something here, and that basically goes into my stereo. You could bypass the 386 amp and go into a guitar amp. I'm just using the, you probably can't see it very well. I'm using the 386 amp to help uh, make it louder so I don't have to crank up the stereo as much. But my stereo goes up to 10 and it's on like 2 right now. So very, 
very sensitive, very loud. Uh, I've seen people ask if these work good as, like, uh, for boys. And right now, as you can see, it's not going to be able to, you're not going to be able to hear it well. But, um, it does not work very well at all. I have to touch it to my mouth, and you can hardly understand it. Uh, another person asked if it works as a throat mic. So I'll on the comment for a video. Oh, geez. Shorting out or something. But, um... Oh, it shorted out on the zipper on my sweatshirt. But I don't know if you can uh, hear this, but it does not work well as a throat mic. You cannot understand anything. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if you could tell that or not, but that was really hard to understand. It was just a bunch of garbled nonsense. So, basically... This is really cool for instruments, like, for example, I've seen this on every single contact mic video that mentions music, but it's a good one. You can set my guitar down here, and I'll do a, unlike a lot of other videos, I'll do a before and after. Before, I'm drop D right now, if you know anything about guitar, it doesn't sound right. And I'll just tape this thing. We're getting feedback because Okay, sorry for that. I was getting a lot of feedback. Um, I have a speaker right there and one under my desk. So, I do get a lot of feedback when I'm working with this stuff on my bench. Um, I wish I could show you that better, but there's plenty of other videos out there. Great little device. Works excellent. Highly recommend it. Feedback isn't too bad unless you're running it through something. Like, my guitar, for some reason, re reacts really strange. But, basically... Uh, that's gonna do it for this week. Shorter video. Um, if I can, I'll get the schematic, and this will be posted somewhere in the video, probably before this. Or the schematic for this. I'll do an LM386 amp next week if I can. I've also got this giant thing. This is a, uh, well, hint into a couple weeks from now, maybe. This is a NAND synth. It uses a 4093 chip. Uh, real, it works really good. You can get some pretty cool sounds off of it. So, uh, if I can get a video up on that, I will. So, I've got some cool projects coming if I can get around to it. Um, I'm trying to get a video up every weekend now. My schedule's not as bad. So, hope to see you next week. This is Basic Electronics, Episode 7. Have a nice weekend. Go build something.